which is going to speed our job a lot. Uh, that's doing fine by two minutes. It's going to be... Oh, wow. Actually, they've lost a lot of strength. Oh. My goodness, they're losing strength like crazy. Is that just a single regiment? Probably. It's only 2,000 men against the half 13. Yeah, they're losing like a 1% per hour or so. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to be around for much longer. Right, let's go ahead and start attacking down here across the river. Just to make sure that they are not just... Well, okay. At least they take a little bit of casualties. Plus, we can start moving a bit sooner. Uh, right, found two men. So they're still... They are bombing here. But we've got another air combat going on. Yeah, we're doing fine. It's three brigades. It's half a division, so they took one upgrade and not the other. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, right. Can we? Oh, we're no longer under attacker. Okay. Well, I suppose what I could do is not sit idly and just go for the airfield because there's a, there was a fair bit of planes there. Now, if we can drive them away, then that's going to be brilliant news for us. Now, I believe we still got some more mechanized troops over here somewhere. We've got one over here for sure, another one there, and another one there. Okay, so we found out where our troops are. Well done. Um, let's just go through here. So this is part of Massa's army as well, so I'll just send you down that way. Clear out one, you can go there. You can go there. Mastani's unit will probably start going up there. And slowly but surely we'll kind of shuffle the troops around. But uh, would you believe it that in Siberia the travel takes a long while to get from one province to another because they're bloody massive. Uh, let's just go to uh, Kamara. Oh, and did we ever get the... Yeah, we got some troops over here. We are pushing already in there. Let's just go ahead and get down that way. We should have some more troops coming in though. Yeah. This was moving in there. And also, we did get some... Oh, yeah, these are still on the move. You know what? I'm going to start sending some of these over here. Start pushing deeper into the territory. Start doing some... Oh, wow, that's a lot of infrastructure. Heavy bomber pilot training. Oh, wait, are we on the... Oh, we're looking at the wrong end. Okay, there we go. Well, that is still a lot of infrastructure, and then the heavy bomber pilot training. Is that now the final one? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. There's still a little bit of the jet fighter, or, or jet pilot stuff, but that's about it. We really are running out of things to research. Which is why we have over 100 free spies right now. too smart. <laughs> well, let's just say that we may have kind of um, got a bit overboard with the uh, all the resources and such. Also, I've already given orders for Alberto's army to cover the French border right now, and then, well, I've actually not given the orders for Dentras's army yet to guard the port as well as uh, guard the Portuguese border. Um, we might take over Portugal, I'm not entirely sure yet. But also, we'll need to get some troops over here guarding this area and all that like it. There's a lot of organization that needs to be happening before things are done. It is quite a bit of Portuguese army, that's true. I'll give them money for crude oil. No, 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 no. We're not spending money. Well, actually, we might be spending money. Uh, um... The mining investments aren't all that great. We don't need the shipping. Uh, there's some of the purchase things. Let's have a look at the... So we could actually buy some rubber. I didn't really... Hold on a minute. Can't we do the synthetic rubber anymore? No. We cannot. Okay. We could buy rubber. We uh, could try buying nickel. Well, I don't think we need the rare materials. But the rubber surplus would actually be good for the supply through. But... Which countries are not in a faction yet? I'll have a look at that in a few moments. But let's oh, um, <laughs> go ahead and buy some rubber. 
Possibly we need to refresh that. We'll buy from the Netherlands. Right, so unaligned. It's not a long list anymore. So Venezuela, Uruguay, uh, Ecuador, Haiti, Tibet, Saudi Arabia, Portugal, Switzerland, us, uh, Luxembourg, Ireland, Netherlands, Belgium, and then the Deepak Nation. So yeah, overall, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, they're trying to attack over here again. Oh, they're trying to attack from there. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure that we've done all the logistical bombing that we can do in the south. So let's go ahead and switch the target to be down here instead. Logistical strikes. Down there. We are going to be breaking through here. They are not out of supplies here yet. But I'm sure that that's going to be sorted out soon enough. Now we've got a few more infrastructures built. I'm pretty sure that our construction, yeah, our construction practical, well, it's actually not 20, it's only 19.6. But 20 is the max, and it decays rather quickly. Once you get a very high number, so you kind of need to be constantly building stuff to keep it at 20. Uh, we already got heavy aircraft practical at 11, so that's not too bad. And the jet engine practical at 19.6, hmm. Capital ship practical is still 1.4, and how much the carrier? 10.2. Okay, so the carrier practical is down to be pretty decent. We're going to need a lot more destroyers, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, actually, anti-air cruisers. We'll build a few of those. Although that's cruiser practical, not destroyer. But we'll also put in some destroyers. We'll put in, a, like, another uh, 10, I would almost say. Be done. Because we need a lot more screens. We'll kind of run out some of them. Or, not necessarily out, but very low on some of them. There we go, so we're... Oh, right, yeah, we're pushing through there. Uh, we are going in there. Is that one... It could start moving forward, for sure. Uh, we could be moving there. Already taking all of this. We haven't un overrun the troops here yet. Mostly because it is bloody long distances. Have we got on anything down here yet? No, well, not in the past day or so. Which is probably when we last checked. Oh, right. Um, can we actually have a look? What do they have in terms of supplies there? They've still got about 200. And a little bit of fuel. And over there they got about 120. They use a lot more uh, supplies over there than over here. The US carriers will through, through the fleet. Yeah, that is exactly. And yeah, I suppose we could be going for fleets of 10. It's just the fleets of 5 have a less uh, stacking penalty and all that, so I've been focusing on those. But now, oh, well, that's going to be a battle done very shortly. And yeah, we're moving in there. Oh. Right, let's uh, enter into Manchuria. There's this one gap over here that we can utilize. I don't know if they are going to be annexing Manchuko immediately as we enter there, or if it's going to take a long time to happen or not. New resource discovered. Oh, there we go. Uh, Spain is mo no more. Well, technically speaking, Spain is uh, uh, Spanish Republic again. We've got Tungsten, arming us with more money. Expand our automotive industry. Oh, well, I'll take that. Resource production. Um... You know what? I'm going to take this for a change. It's going to mean a bit more unrest. But I think we'll be mostly okay, as long as we remember to give the orders immediately whenever they spring up to be cleared out. Okay, so. Now, I suppose um, the Spanish Republic is also non-aligned. Yeah, now we own all of this. You do two capital ships of not the same class and two cruisers. Rest DDs, it should be uh, without penalty or struggling with. Or just chuckling with uh, light cruisers instead of uh, heavy cruisers. Do not get it. Fair enough. 
I mean, we can probably experiment with them a little bit once we've got a bit more ships to work with. I mean, we've got a decent fleet overall, but like, not a lot of screens, unfortunately. Right, so we're already taking that. Is this... Oh, right, let's have a look at the bombardments in here. So they are basically out of supplies, good to know. And we should be breaking through here rather shortly, so can we actually go ahead and do some ground attacks there? Aye, uh, we can. Well, let's do that then. And we're winning there, we're pushing into the airfield. And we're losing land in the northern Siberia. But our troops are about to be over here, so we can start spreading them even further and, you know, slowly but surely take care of the stuff there. And of course, if we can cut them off, or off, cut them off from the coast, then that means that those troops that are in Siberia are going to be basically done for. Um, we're still bombing over here, but we've done a pretty good job at uh, breaking the counterattack in here. Although the mechanized division, well, I think down to 56%. Of course, now that we've um, basically pushed them out from the airfields nearby. Oh, and that's another province in the north. Uh, from the airfields nearby, then that means that there's not going to be a lot of bombardment going on towards our troops. Which is going to help, of course, quite a bit. Uh, we're already doing... You know what, we could probably switch your target again to something else. Uh, let's go ahead and do a... You know what, we'll use the jet bombers over here as a bit of a ground attack on... Like a long-term... Orders over here to do strikes on whatever we can on that sort of region. There's probably going to be some fighters or interceptors that will deal with us, so we'll need to keep that in mind. Oh, the worst of the snow is over. Oh, I didn't realize it's going to be a spring offensive today. Right, um, we could give a bit of a support attack with these, but these mountaineers are going to go into China soon enough. Because it is part of Taz's army, and I'm kind of trying to um, group up the armies again. Right, so there's a bit of a counterattack here, but that's not going to be a problem. They're basically out of organization. Uh, we didn't actually. Oh! Right, so there's the rubber surplus now, going from 2 to 3, so that's another 2.5% mobile movement speed, and an extra percent in uh, supply throughput. Users and Ranger is lost. Oh! Interesting. Oh, and we got. Some divisions. Oh, right, they should be part of uh, Stuntman's army. Uh, right, well, let's go ahead and get these in here. Do we have a core command? Well, we've got one core commander right now. We could probably get more, let's be honest. Yeah, this is going to be going on the Stuntman's army. And then over here, let's go ahead and check the skill levels. Well, there's not all that great skill levels on these. You know, at least get a little bit more troops. So, Sandman's army is um, mostly on the kind of the Maginot line already. But, like, as we can see, a lot of the enemy units here are quite weak. A lot of them are actually at zero strength. Like, for example, the division over here, it's got the logistics, uh, it's got the artillery, uh, medium artillery at that, and then it's got the headquarters. It's not going to be fighting a lot. And I'm pretty sure that most of that is uh, very vulnerable for bombing. Although they have a ton of fighters, so they might have the air control once we do start fighting the Allies. But there's multiple nations that have been building a ton of air force, and then start with a lot of air force as well. Okay, now there's a counterattack. We've dug in fairly well. I'm going to send in the regular division over there. They're trying to cut us off from these troops, of course, which makes sense. I don't think they'll be getting through. Unless they do a lot of bombardment, which I suppose is possible. Oh, there we go, doing some strikes. There, here we go. That's now dislodged. Can we reach that? No, unfortunately not. Hmm. Could move it down here. That wouldn't be necessarily helping right now. I mean, Ulaanbaatar is that. That would be close enough to do some strikes over here, but I suppose we'll just. Cancel your orders right now. Just, you know, let them repair and all that. And we'll probably move it down here eventually once we've kind of uh, secured the area a bit more. Now, we should be arriving here very shortly. Indeed. And then there's going to be an instant combat against an infantry division which is out of organization. So that's going to be done very shortly. 
Uh, so what are we going to be getting this month? Just out of curiosity. Um, and not quite yet the carriers, the super carriers, that is. It's going to be about a year for the at least the second one of those. So the first one is going to be done in November, so it's not that far away, all things considered. We're going to be getting some um, heavy transports. For some infrastructure. We're not going to be getting the jet fighters this month. More infrastructure. Uh, okay. At least in Jember to me. Ah, the rest of the um, infantry corps. But that's about it in terms of the things that we're going to be getting. What I should probably do is uh, put on the order design again. Once we start getting some um, more garrisons, if we have any garrisons actually underway, didn't we? Hold on, wait. I thought I started building the garrison army for Iberia, but maybe that was in the previous attempt. Or the bits that we lost due to a crash. Well, it is not really that important right now, but eventually we do want to have a bit more garrisons in there. Nuclear program cost? Sure, we'll pay that. Automotive factory is now at 14. Excellent. Still need a bit more of those, but I think we'll be alright. Okay, so is the mechanized holding? It's still at 55%, so I suppose it will be holding. And the enemy from here, oh, is attacking without organization. Alright then, uh, we should be getting there shortly and then we're going to start attacking that. I think a lot of those troops are going to be surrendering immediately. So looking forward to that. Okay, so we go into Manchuria. There's headquarters in there. Um, we should have another two divisions coming in. Okay, if I move in there, then it's going to be cut that off already from anything else. That's good, we can just have one of the infantry clear that one out. Right, we can actually move down those two, all through here, to get also into Manchuria, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, that is where Master's army is supposed to be heading anyway, according to the plan. Uh, let's go ahead and attack it over here, we'll do a bit of a counter-attack. Those are low on organization, that's gonna stop the counter-attack over here, hopefully. There's some chromite trades going on, all right. But how is the front in India? It's it's gotten pretty far, all things good to do. Despite the Japanese having to send in a lot of troops against me. Uh, right, so we have oh gold mining, yes, thank you. Uh, expand an airbase. You can designate an airbase while this event is open. Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead and find a airbase that we could maybe upgrade. Actually, let's go ahead and select this one. There we go, so now it's level 6. Oh, that's handy. Right, so we could maybe start moving some planes down there then. Uh, let's move in the interceptors, for example. That's going to give us a bit of air coverage. Well, forward air coverage, which means that it's, uh, the enemy should not be a problem, at least. Whereas we might be a problem for the enemy then. But that's not my problem. Uh, right, so this one, I'm just going to give you orders to do air intercepts. Day and night. I'm going to put in a bit of extra range in here. Something like that. Uh, continues, and the other one is going to be reserves. It's just going to be reserve. And there we go. It's probably going to be having a lot of air combats in the near future. Because there is going to be... Well, actually, I don't know. We'll see. If there's no reason to intercept them, then... The enemy doesn't intercept me, intercepting them. And the usual... Uh, right, so we're already taking that. I think I can move this one into Manchuria. Because we are going to have to send in a decent bit of troops there to start attacking forward and kind of force the Japanese hand. 
in getting rid of that puppet. And of course we got some troops over here. I don't think this is necessarily going to be enough troops that we have in here. Well, assuming that we clear out this area, then yeah, it's going to be fine. We're going to take uh, Menjian as well. Still sinking some convoys. Actually, why is the Japanese um, unity right now? And about 94% is actually slightly below. Uh, we can also buy some... Oh, we're going to invest in Tungsten now. Are we under or over in Tungsten? We've got four already. Maybe we could still invest in there. A division of Germany a common show. I can't do that. And is the Potsdam Conference? Oh yeah, it's still a thing. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we are at peace with all of them. Alright, well, I'm not going to do that though. So it's actually, let's have a look at the underlines. So there we go, the Spanish Republic is now on the list as well. It will take another six months for the mine investments to be done, but that's alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, so in the battle in uh, Karyata, it's a peace with... Yes, yes, all of them are dead. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, right, so we got the battle over here. So we lost 4,000 men, which is a quite substantial amount of all things considered. And there's probably a lot of bombardment that is not counted in those losses. But the enemy lost over 20,000, so I would say that it's still worthwhile. And now we've got one in here. It's time to start pushing forward. Uh, let's go ahead and take these two and start sending them down to Golnud. Uh, how's the defense going in here? Um, we're taking a bit of losses already, but the enemy is losing quite a bit of organization. Uh, are they attacking from Madoi? With two divisions? Yes. Okay, well. Time for a counter attack. We're just going to break their attacks for all from at least over here. It's kind of cut down the half in the divisions that are attacking. Expanded airbase. Low level 7. Upgraded uh, by... Okay. Um, sure. Well, that's going to be level 10 airbase now. Well, that's going to be handy. There we go. So we've got in here. We're going to have this one move forward. Actually, I'm going to have you go there. I'm going to go there as well. We already got someone going in there. And this one is going to be dealt with shortly. Do we have, um, well, the Mechanized can probably stay back. Uh, we can, oh, you are already moving in there. That's too low infrastructure in here. We could maybe attack against the infantry and stuff in here. I believe it's uh, one of the Chinese division which is basically just uh, infantry. There might be a little bit extra in there. And then just militia. So this is actually going to be quite, oh, yeah. It's basically done already. Let's go ahead and move in the close air support into the airfield here. It might run a bit low on fuel, mind you, so we don't want to move in every plane in existence into this base yet, but we're going to slowly start moving more and more. Oh, and there we go. We've found some more troops to bomb, uh, and they're taking heavy casualties. Well, these are probably getting... Well, they're getting a bit of a combat experience. It's nothing massive yet. Oh, right. Uh, let's have a look at the front line that Mastani needs to deal with. These are technically Mustard's armies, all Mustard's troops still, but... It's alright. We can probably do... A little bit of attack there, nonetheless. And then we got some troops coming in here. You can maybe go into... Ooh, actually, go over there. These are moving in there. we got another two divisions that could move in. Already taken that one. We can move in there. These can move forward. Just in case, I'm going to move one over there. And these haven't still arrived in, I mean, suppose, well, once we get across the river, we can start fighting that one. We've got four attacks and one defense. The defense is still a bit tricky, but the attack is probably going to be a lot easier now. Ooh, actually, another place that I should be doing is... Oh, I can't designate an airbase because we don't have a level there yet. Or it might be... Actually... Yeah, it needs to have at least level one airbase. Well, we could do this one... Do we actually have another division in here? Which is not in the front line yet. And are these... Yeah, these are getting a little bit better in... You know what? I'm going to send you down there. 
into Yushu. Uh, let's go ha and have a look at how's the situation here. Oh, well, one of them is really low on organization. So it's going to wait a little bit longer, like maybe another week. And then we should be able to destroy at least one of the divisions. Well, technically speaking, we'd have to do that during combat. Otherwise, it's going to have to wait for the second one to destroy before the other uh, this, uh, weaker one is destroyed as well.